Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week of um, March the 2nd through the 16th, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, if you want to book up personal or private reading. Payments are collected on Fridays. Um, so make sure that you have the updated price list. You can always email, email me if you don't. Um, and then if you want to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications of when I'm uh, taking the live calls. All right. So we have the central issue heart of the matter is the three of wands. We have the queen of wands the Eight of Cups, and then we have the Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Strength, the Emperor, and Death. So you guys may be going through some sort of significant changes um, within the next two weeks. Um, right now it looks that, it looks as if you are anticipating something you may be waiting to hear from someone or maybe you're waiting to see if someone's going to do something um or this could go the other way around someone is watching and anticipating something with you could be dealing with the fire sign aries Leo, sagittarius hmm i feel like you guys are overall struggling with uh, faith, like you're losing faith in the person that maybe you once believed in, um, or maybe in love and love in general. It just looks like you're feeling like giving up or letting go, or maybe like something isn't for you. Um, maybe you already walked away from someone who you felt just was not a good match. Um, and even though you cared uh, cared about the person, you still just felt like something was missing or um, whether it was even the attraction or something emotional. I don't know. It just looks like um, someone walked away and now someone has been just waiting or wondering. Um, and now someone is losing faith. I feel that your needs aren't being met. And then if you're in a relationship already, like it, it still looks like maybe you and your partner are just not seeing eye to eye. There's something missing. Um, maybe you don't know how to bring something up. You don't know how to talk about it. Um, there also could be something going on where maybe someone is physically ill. Could be... Hmm, it looks. It almost looks like physical illness like someone has not been feeling well maybe someone lost their job because of their illness maybe someone's unable to find a job and somehow you know your status or your finances are taking a toll on the relationship so I I definitely feel like your faith is being tested um, and there's a lesson to learn from this current situation. I feel too like there's something going on where there's missed opportunities. I don't know if you keep turning down an opportunity to talk with your partner or if they are turning down opportunities to talk with you. Yeah. And then like, it also looks like someone is like, I'm waiting for you to tell the truth. Like, just tell me, just be honest with me. And the other person just keeps saying they don't, they don't have anything to say. And that's not true. Hmm. I also feel that something needs to come out. Like there needs to be a confession. Hmm. 
someone is definitely stuck on some sort of old beliefs as well. So I don't know if you're uh, some sort of belief system is getting in the way of you pursuing or being with the person that you want or if some sort of spiritual or religious beliefs are kind of affecting the relationship like somebody just doesn't believe in something they're like I don't believe in that or I don't you know I can't subscribe to that and that is just kind of causing issues mm. it also could be not just religious or spiritual beliefs but just um, practices so like say for instance you're vegan and your partner is not and it's just like this relationship is hard so you know maybe someone is just like I don't want to cook vegan or someone is just like how can you bring flesh into the house you know just stuff like that um, maybe this is also a situation where there's just two completely different backgrounds different faiths maybe one person grew up um, you know, in the streets and the other person were, was raised with a silver spoon in their mouths. And it's just, is hard, especially maybe because the parents' expectations or generation, like maybe you want to uh, respect the family's traditions and you're, if you get involved with this person, they're so different that it would, you know, cause an issue. So, yeah, I, I just feel like overall someone's faith is being tested. Someone also could be trying to be celibate or hold out and maybe they're struggling with that at some point. Maybe it's like, this is not as easy as I thought or this is very difficult. Mm. There's also the possibility of some sort of information being withheld. Someone is trying to protect the innocent. They're like, I need to protect the innocent. They don't know any better. Mm, I don't know what that means for you. I feel like there's an opportunity to, to share a secret or some information, but the information is being kept, kept to protect the innocent. They, someone feels like it's better if you don't know, or this is for your own protection. Hmm. So I wonder how that's going to play out for some of you. Now, I also get that someone is, oh, these were, I switched. Um, I'm also getting the energy of someone who is very traditional, very old fashioned, very strict. Someone has a lot of rules. Hmm. Maybe it's hard dealing with that person. E Emil. I think I'm getting the name Emil or Emily. Um. Hmm. And I don't read the Bible. But I'm getting some, I feel like something about John. So I don't know if that is some sort of biblical verse or chapter that needs to be read um, or that you've, you read or go to a lot. Um, and like I said, I don't read the Bible so, Bible, so I don't know what chapter and verse, I, but I did feel like something is coming from the Bible, and it has to do with John. Um, I don't know how many Johns there are either, but um, and I went to a Lutheran school too, but I don't remember. Um, hmm. So yeah, now someone also is very old-fashioned. And that could be an issue. Someone's just very old school. 
Maybe someone want, thinks that you should stay home and um, cook or and let them be the provider and be very submissive. I'm getting like to the point, like, don't get me wrong, I like some, you know, some submission. But this is getting to the point where it seems like how they practice it in, in an Islamic country. You know, with the woman walking two steps behind a man and women not being able to drive and uh, men not respecting women to a certain extent. Uh, to, I don't want to say don't respect them because they, I think is I think it's excessiveness, but to the point where it's restraining the woman from being herself or finding herself. Um, so I feel like it's almost somewhere along the lines of that. Um, I feel like maybe even because of that, a relationship could come to an end, or maybe that's why you're no longer interested in someone or no longer want to move forward with them. You guys, if you were in a relationship, definitely could be a breakup. Even if you guys tried to seek outside help or get professional counseling or whatever, it still seems like something would come to an end. If you don't physically go your separate ways, then it's just like you're dead inside. You know, it's just like the thrill is gone. Just there's just a dullness. It's lifeless. It's just dead. Um, yeah. So some of you may be feeling like you are just in a dead end relationship. I also feel like someone needs to let go of their power. Um, like someone is, there's control issues. So someone needs to let go of the control issues rather in order for something to work. If you are completely single and you keep looking for love, waiting for love, I feel like something happens where you lose your faith, your faith is tested. And then I feel there that there is a possibility that your single life could come to an end or it's like you're you're reaching your lowest. Maybe you're still going through some sort of transformation, but it's like you're reaching your lowest. Um, you're reaching your breaking point. You are maybe starting to feel like, I don't know how much of being single I can handle. I can't, I can't deal with this. I don't know how I'm a, how can I continue? Like is for some of you, it's coming off as like a really big deal. Um, Wow. Ooh. A lot of changes going on for you guys. You got um you got death, major arcana the tower, you got the you know the hierophant, strength, chariot, so and then a lot of things keep pointing to the death of the ego. There is something that you believed in. Um I hate to say it, but for some of you, this may even be about your beliefs in the role of gender, um, not gender, gender roles. Yeah. Gender roles. So let's say for instance, you are like, you're like, well, I'm divine feminine, you know? Turns out that, no, you came to learn about your divine masculine side. And it's just like, but I'm a woman. And spirit is like, yes, but you are here to learn and develop your divine masculine side. So that means that you take on more of a masculine role and your partner takes more on of a feminine role. So I I, I hate to say it, but the, that's a possibility. It's just a thought, but that is kind of like something that, kind of came to me, your ideas about um, the roles that you're playing here could be a big shake up. Um, it's something that you believed in regardless, something that you really believed in, some sort of faith, you put a lot of faith into something, um, you believed in something or someone and now it's like being shattered 
and you're throwing you're throwing these ideas away. You're like these beliefs no longer fit in with my life anymore. They don't function. It doesn't make sense. So you're kind of looking back and reflecting on your old self and your old beliefs. Now it also looks like you guys could be doing some sort of purge where you are getting rid of social media, maybe taking a break from social media, um, any type of social media platform. At least, if not all platforms, then at least one of them, especially if you felt like you had an addiction to one of them. Um, and this also could be about maybe deleting old messages, deleting people from your contacts, and just cutting people out of your life in general. Maybe you're cutting out people who didn't believe in you, like you're deleting. There's a lot of deletion going on. Um, now, I don't know, too. Maybe you ended things with the an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an earth sign has been transformed through by you. Maybe they're the ones that no longer believe in something and they're like, man, this person changed my whole belief system. If you, whatever was going on, like if you were in a relationship or if you were just getting to know someone, like all of that I feel had to crumble and fall apart because there was a crack in the foundation. There was something that was being established incorrectly or in the wrong way, in the wrong direction. The foundation was not a good foundation. Maybe something was being built on a foundation of insecurity, built on a foundation of lies, built on something, built on an illusion. And now there's this big reality check or some sort of wake up call. Now, after some sort of tower moment, maybe it's uh, simply some sort of aha moment, it does look like there could be a change where you feel motivated again. You feel excited about um, your future or what's to come in regards to love or your person of interest is, let's say you're just completely single, like I said, and you're like, well, I'm not dealing with anyone. It could be that the person coming towards you has been undergoing like some crazy life changing events and all of this was to get them on the path to, to meeting you. So it could be that I'm picking up on the energies of someone coming towards you, even if you're completely unaware of this. Um, but it's like as they start to tell you about their life and what they've been through, you realize that, man... Um, this resonates with everything that was talked about before. So it could be that it's their story. Um, I see someone definitely gaining the courage to confront their fears. So someone is definitely just getting geared up and saying, I'm, um, I've made a decision and I'm taking action. So before or by the end of like midweek in March, I feel that you are taking action, pursuing your goals uh, or your person of interest or, you know, it's the other way around. Yeah. Hmm. So those are basically the messages. Yeah, those are b basically the messages that I have. I hope it resonates. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.